To start the installation, choose a suitable location for the shower valve and kit, taking into consideration the location of the hot and cold supply pipes and the shower tray or bath. The requirements of the water regulations must be met and guidance is given in the installation instructions. Install the hot and cold water supply pipes, complete with isolation valves and filters fitted as close to the shower valve as possible. The valve can be fitted with rear, rising or falling supply pipes, so choose the most appropriate orientation for the installation. If a modulating combination boiler is fitted, the pink flow regulator supplied may be required to prevent the boiler cycling on and off. For a new installation with rear entry supplies, the pipe should be at 150 mm centers with hot to the left and cold to the right. The inlet hole should be recessed at 33 mm diameter to a depth of 12 mm to allow for the concealing plates. The pipe tails should be left with 32 mm plus or minus 1 mm extending from the finished wall surface. To suit existing pipework, it may be necessary to fit adjustable elbows, which are available as an accessory. This removes the need to move the existing pipes, which can save a lot of time and effort. The adjustable elbows replace the original elbows and allow fitting to existing pipes, with centers from 147 to 155 mm. For rising or falling supply pipes, they should be fixed at 43 mm from the pipe center to the finished wall surface. Mark horizontally the positions of the holes for the back plate on the finished wall, as shown in figure 5 of the installation instructions. For solid walls, drill the holes for the back plate with a 6 mm drill and insert the wall plugs provided. Remove the back plate from the mixer by loosening the grub screw with the 2.5 mm hexagonal key supplied and securely fix the mounting bracket to the wall with the screws provided. Make good the wall and tile as required. For rear entry supplies, fit the concealing plates over the inlet pipes having applied silicone sealant to the back face of each plate. Thoroughly flush the pipework to remove all debris before connecting to the valve. Failure to do so may result in malfunctioning of the thermostatic cartridge. If a top outlet or second outlet is required, then it should be fitted now. A top outlet is typically used with a fixed riser. A second outlet is available as an accessory and is required where a fixed riser and separate hand spray are required. Each outlet includes a flow control, so two outlets allow independent control of the fixed riser and hand spray. To fit a top outlet, first remove the plug cap on the top of the valve with a screwdriver. Remove the grub screw which locates the sealing plug with the hexagonal key supplied. Replace the sealing plug with the outlet and align the flat with the grub screw as shown. Secure with the grub screw. Fit the compression nuts and olives onto the supply pipes. Rotate the elbows to suit the supply pipes. Align the valve with the pipework and fit onto the back plate making sure that the hot and cold supply pipes correspond with the hot and cold inlets on the valve. Tighten the grub screw to secure the valve to the back plate. Tighten the compression nuts onto the elbows on the valve body with a 24mm AF spanner, taking care not to damage the chrome surfaces. Mark the positions of the holes for the fixing brackets for the slide rail if a shower kit is being used. If a fixed riser is being used, then only one fixing is required. For solid walls, drill the holes for the slide rail brackets and insert the wall plugs provided with the shower kit. Securely fix the brackets to the wall with the screws provided and attach the slide rail.
screw the hose to the outlet of the valve. Screw the handspray to the hose. However, if this shower is being used on a low pressure hot water system, we recommend you remove the factory fitted flow regulator. The flow regulator is located in the end of the handspray where the hose attaches and is pulled out using a pair of long nosed pliers. This flow regulator limits flow to 8 litres per minute for higher pressure systems but could result in insufficient flow on low pressure systems. Turn on the hot and cold water supply isolation valves and check for leaks. Check the operation of the shower valve. Water flow is turned on by rotating the flow control to the right as indicated by the markings. Water temperature is increased by rotating the temperature control anti-clockwise and is decreased by rotating clockwise as indicated by the red and blue markings. A typical shower temperature of 40 degrees Celsius is shown for guidance. The maximum water temperature of the shower is factory set at 40 degrees. Four different settings are possible. 40 degrees, 43 degrees, 45 degrees and 50 degrees. To change this temperature, remove the temperature control handle by first removing the chrome cap and then the screw. Remove the temperature limit stop which is the black H-shaped plastic component and reinsert it in the appropriate recess on the grey handle carrier. Then refit the temperature handle. Check that operation of the valve is correct by adjusting the flow and temperature controls and measure the maximum water temperature. Also measure the maximum flow rate which should be at least 4.1 litres per minute at 0.1 bar. or 13 litres per minute at one bar. Commission the shower valve before use by referring to the installation instructions. The shower installation is now complete. Finally, the user should be instructed as to how the shower operates and the installation instructions should be left with them for future reference.